Greetings and welcome to another My Week in Selling. My name is Ronnie. I'm a part-time reseller and I sell mainly on eBay. Do a little bit on BrickLink with the Lego and I've also got some Macari stuff that I've sold this week. So let's get into it and I will go over everything that I sold last week. As of the time of this recording, it is April 4th, 2022. And I'm going to go over everything that I sold from Monday, March 28th to Sunday, April 3rd. First on our list here, we sold a pair of brand new New Balance Men's 519 shoes. I spent $10 on these and accepted a best offer of $35 plus shipping. I think everybody had one of these CD cases when they were kids. At least all of my friends did. Um, I was really excited to find one with the tag still attached. I thought that was really cool. Uh, I paid a quarter for this and sold it for 10 bucks. Doing a little bit of experimenting with promoted listings, and this is one of them. This one finally sold for $15. I paid a quarter for it. Uh, didn't have it for all that long, but I listed it kind of high, and it just kept going down and down and down. So I thought, eh, I'll try the promoted listing, and not long after I enabled that, it sold. This particular item was getting just a ton of eyes on it. I had a lot of different watchers. Uh, was getting a lot of offers. I originally listed them for $15. And after they'd been uh, in my store for about two or three weeks, I got an offer of $10, which was just a little bit below my asking price. And I only paid a dollar for these, so I accepted that offer. This might be my favorite thing that I sold this week. I bought this t-shirt along with... I think seven or eight other vintage Denver Broncos t-shirts, and this one sold for $23 plus shipping. I only paid a dollar for this. Yes. Another pair of Levi's sold. These are 560s, apparently the most coveted item. They are the comfort fit, so they've got the really baggy legs, and apparently that is what the folks want. Uh, this is, I think, my highest jean sell for any pair of Levi's that I've had. $29.99 plus shipping, and that was my asking price. I'm really surprised that this one took so long to sell. I paid $5 for this at Goodwill probably a month ago. I sold a bunch of golf polos that I picked up from that particular thrifting adventure pretty quickly, but this one was the only one that was new with tags, and I don't know if it's the color or what it is, but super nice polo. Um, I did price it up a little bit, so, you know, money talks. I'm sure that that's probably the reason, but I'm happy that this one sold for $25 bucks plus shipping. These are shoes that were in my own personal collection. I had a nice big shoe purge. I've had several people that have come over to my house within the last year and have seen inside of my closet and they're like, really? You have, you, you've only got two feet. Do you need that many shoes? I really don't. So I got rid of a bunch of pairs of shoes and this is one of them sold for 15 bucks plus shipping. I'm starting to wonder about this one as well. This was an early thrifting adventure pickup for me. Back in January, I got this at Salvation Army for $2.50. It's funny how you remember uh, like the prices and where you were whenever you picked this stuff up at. Uh, but anyway, I had it listed originally for $25. It's got some stains on it. It's a really nice, soft coat, uh, but apparently just not a ton of value there. And being as that we're in April and it's getting warmer, I was happy to see this one exit my inventory for $10 plus shipping. I suppose I'll include these shoes in this one. Uh, it was an offer of $25, which I accepted, but they still haven't paid for them, and it's been a couple of days. My inclination is that they're probably going to not pay, and I'm just going to wind up having to relist them, but I included it here anyway. Not a super good sell for me. I paid $6 for this at Salvation Army. It's new with tags, but it's Old Navy. Um, I wasn't overly excited about it. It's a really bulky item, um, and it was pretty tough to get packed into the packaging to get it shipped out. Um, but I'm glad that it's gone and I made a little bit of money on it. This was kind of a surprise to me. I've moved away from picking up button down shirts. They're just a lot of management to go into uh, laying them out, taking pictures of them, making sure they don't have wrinkles, making them look nice. So this Tommy Hilfiger shirt, it's a medium. I want to say that it's a ladies because it doesn't have a top button there. Yes, it is. Okay, I was like panicking a little bit. I was like, please tell me that I listed that in women's department. And I did, hooray, because these earlier listings, I mean, I've learned a lot as I've gone, things to look for, how you can tell women's clothing apart from men's clothing. And uh, yeah, that's definitely a lady shirt, and I'm glad that I marketed it as such. Pretty disappointing sale here. I paid $15 for this way back in the day. Um, whenever I attended a final game at Bush Stadium, the old Bush Stadium for the St. Louis Cardinals, so definitely lost money on that, uh, four bucks. It really wasn't even hardly worth the time for that, but it was time for it to go. And that's kind of the going rate that those patches have been going for. I'm just really surprised that a sealed patch like that isn't going for more than what it originally retailed for. 
I bought these Clark's Wavewalk shoes at a local thrift shop, um, paid up for them. They were marketed as new, never worn, and I, I do believe that they are. I mean, they're in really, really uh, good condition. I mean, no marks anywhere on them that you can see, and uh, had a person message me. They sent me an offer. I accepted, and then they were like, well, I don't need expedited shipping, and I had to explain to them, well, whenever you get up over a certain weight amount, um, it's just kind of like what you have to do. You have to do, you have to move into priority shipping and they're like, Oh, that's okay. Then they went ahead and paid for them and on they went. So I don't know if I mentioned it, but I paid $8 for these. This one was a bit of an annoyance as well. I had a, a low ball bitter guy that kept sending me offers. I think he, he started out at $5. I said, how about $10? And then he did $6 and I said, about 950 and we just we couldn't come to terms and finally he caught me in a weak moment and I accepted an offer of seven dollars this is a molly paintball vest if you don't have any idea what this is uh, there's a, a picture on the back where you can attach additional like paintball tubes to the back of this and then it's got a really nice uh, velcro velcro strap on the front so it kind of sinks up to you but you can use it for other things other than paintball because it's molly system that's what those different loops are called and back in my paintball days, this was a very necessary item. So it's pretty lightly used in good condition. I was able to pack it into a flat rate, uh, non-padded mailer. So it only cost me about $7.85 to ship it. So I did wind up making uh, a couple dollars on shipping as well. I was pretty stoked about this one. Whenever I pulled this shirt out to take pictures of it, I had the thought of nobody is ever going to buy this. I spent a quarter on it, so it was it was dirt cheap, but it's vintage uh, Grand Slam Polo. Wound up bringing in $11 plus shipping. All right, this was a big L, and I've adjusted it since I sold it, but I sold one of these Power Rangers. I think I paid set, like $7 to $10 for this particular one, and it looks good right now because I've got $9.25 for priority shipping, which is what this is. It's going to wind up uh, weighing for two pounds, so it's going to have to go into a priority mailbox, but uh, whenever I originally listed it, I listed it for first class, and that is not a first class weight package. So they only paid, I think, $5 in shipping, so I wound up losing about $4 in shipping, and like I said, I think I paid $10 for it, so I maybe profited 5 to 6 bucks on it. Definitely not worth it. All right. I, I've got a, a moral, a moral uh, conundrum on this one. So the story behind this textbook, how I came upon it, um, my workplace hosts a textbook review fair every year where these textbook companies come in and they have all of these different products shipped to them. And then whenever the textbook fair is over, the vendors leave and they leave behind all of these books. So I was up at my workplace and they were getting ready to throw away tons and tons of textbooks and textbook materials. And I thought, Wow, that is very wasteful. And also, I wonder if any of that stuff has any value in it. Sure enough, I looked up all of the uh, hardcover textbooks that I could find that we had left. And uh, this one sold the same day that I listed it. So obviously, I undervalued this one in particular. None of the other ones have sold. I think I listed like five or six of them. Sold for $60 plus shipping. And again, I you know, moral conundrum, like they were going to wind up in the dumpster. And so... Yes, I'm profiting on something that probably maybe wasn't meant to resell, but it just seems so wasteful, so darn wasteful. So let me know what you guys think about that. So I also sell on a platform called Bricklink, which is uh, all Lego related items. And I had 13 orders last week, but I just wanted to share with you two because they were pretty significant. The first thing that I sold was an Admiral Thrawn minifigure. I bought this in a whatnot auction last week for $75 and it, Pretty much immediately sold as soon as I put it on Bricklink for $99 plus shipping, which is just crazy to me. I remember parting out like five of these back in the day. Man, if I would have known that Admiral Thrawn would have never been made again, and he's really not even all that special. I mean, his headpiece and his torso, I guess, but there's no leg printing. Uh, I think the Star Wars community is a little bit hungry for a new Thrawn minifigure. And I have a sneaking suspicion that another one is on the way because I think Thrawn's going to be in one of the new Star Wars properties somewhere. The other one that I want to share with you is very significant. This is Darth Revan, a minifigure that only ever came as a free promotional item from Lego, I believe, back in 2014. I 
had just started collecting, and I was able to pick up two of these. Uh, I think it was a May the 4th promotion back whenever the May the 4th promos were minifigures and awesome. Uh, I sold this for $215 this week. $215 plus shipping. Uh, just blew my mind. There were no used comps for Darth Revan at all on Bricklink, really. Um, there were some new ones, and they were selling for around 300 So I thought, eh, I'll just list it for 215 It was literally just sitting over there on my minifigure wall. Just just hanging out. And I thought, I think that the price has really spiked on Darth Revan. In fact, let me show you the data. Interesting. So here we are on Bricklink, and now we've got several that have been listed. You can see mine that sold for 215 uh, when we look at March, 100, 132, 140, 142, 149, and then we've got this sudden uptick with somebody that sold one for 180 and then me for 215, you could buy a brand new one in package for 290, uh, or apparently now you can get a new one for 230. So the market on Darth Revan is hot. If you have a Darth Revan minifigure and you're not willing to sell it to get $200, you might want to evaluate your life. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Because there is no piece of plastic that is worth 200 Cool minifigure. They've never made another one. But LEGO will make another one of those eventually. Strike while the market's hot. Get your $200 and run. And finally, on to Mercari. I sold, I think, three or four items that I need to go over here on this platform. Uh, I really don't like Mercari. The main thing that bothers me about them is that whenever I list something, every now and then I'll get completely done with a listing, uploaded photos a very nice subject, a good description, adding in the hashtags, and then you'll go to submit it, and it'll say an error occurred. Go back to the home screen and try again. When you go back to the home screen, you lose all of your progress on your auction. That's literally never happened on eBay, and it is infinitely frustrating because it takes a long time just to get a listing kind of, you know, like lined out to where you want it to be. So anyway, that's that's neither here nor there. I don't really like how they have shi uh, shipping set up on Mercari either. Um, you can't do like a smaller weight for first class unless you ship on your own. Um, they want you to use FedEx Smart Post a lot, which is fine. Um, you do save some money there, you can. Uh, but anyway, this is not the uh, Ronnie Complains About Mercari episode. This is the what I sold. So the first thing that I sold was a Rawlings baseball glove. I picked this up for $2 at a Salvation Army last week. Pretty much immediately sold, striking while the iron is hot. Um, that spring stuff is out there, and I was happy to pick this up and sell it so quick. My bestie Kelly hooked me up with an old-school Nintendo 64, and as I was looking that system up and listing it, I realized that apparently this transparent red controller is somewhat rare. And it's valuable enough that I thought it would be a good idea to sell it on its own. So that's exactly what I did. And sure enough, within about a week, it sold for 52 bucks plus shipping. Thanks, Kelly. Sold another baseball glove, $20 plus shipping. Only paid 2 bucks for it. Salvation Army, thank you very much. And this was like my comeback item on Mercari. It's one of the first things that I listed on here. And it sold basically next day. I don't know if I undervalued it or what. I was really happy to get 30 bucks. Plus shipping for it because I only paid $6 for it. And I really liked this one in particular because it's got the kind of headstock that you can disattach from the unit. Yeah, just like unlocking that. So you can pack it down really small, wrap the whole thing in bubble wrap. It was super easy to sell. Last but not least, very exciting announcement for you guys. If you're watching this on the day that this video comes out, which will be Tuesday, April 5th at 7 p.m. tonight, Central Time, I am doing my very first WhatNot auction. I'm going to have bulk parts, I'm going to be giving away a trophy, uh, doing minifigures, advent calendars, sealed sets, all kinds of stuff. Come say hi, come hang out, whatnot.com, and then you can find me by looking up my username, which is Ronnie Resells on there. So I will do a summary video after I get done with uh, this stream, because I think that it'll be interesting to kind of share that. There's not a ton of people that are selling on Whatnot yet. Uh, but I'm excited about it. Um, I had my interview literally today to see if they would let me, and I had a lot of stuff ready to go. So I'm ready to turn that around and uh, dive into live auctioning. So I'll, I'll make a video about that, kind of do like a little, hey, here's how it went. Uh, here's all the stuff that sold. Maybe here's like the dollar amount that uh, I think I'm taking home, which is really cool. Um, there's, there's another incentive for me to get to selling on whatnot quickly because uh, they're waiving my fees 
for the first 30 days. So everything that I sell on Whatnot is not going to have any fees at all attached to it. That makes me want to sell just like everything in my Lego collection and uh, just make all of the money hand over fist. But one thing I'm really concerned about is shipping. I don't, I don't quite grasp the concept on that, specifically with sealed sets. So like the concept on whatnot, if you buy an auction, usually it's like $350 to $4 for the first item. And then every additional item that you buy from the same seller during the same auction is an extra dollar. So my question is, what? I just sold another textbook. Yes. <laughs> my question is, what happens whenever they purchase a minifigure and the shipping on that's $350 and then they purchase a sealed set and the shipping on that should normally cost me like $8 to $10? Is it just going to add a dollar to that? I think that it is. So I don't know if I'm going to lose my lunch on shipping, so I'm not going to do a ton of sealed sets. I've got just a couple, but I'm super pumped, super stoked. And if you guys are looking for something to do at 7 p.m., check me out on Whatnot. And that will wrap it up for another weekly sales report. Hope that you guys enjoyed that. If you have any questions at all, please hit me with those. And until next time, I'll see you later. Take care.